Hello ladies, it's Fiona Robertson here. I'm the Body Whisperer and the Body Renewer. And I'm coming to you live today, talking to you about weathering the storms and winter blues and how to stay aligned into your own energy. Let me just move this because it's adjusting the volume. And I don't need it to do that. There we go. Um, yeah, so today we're talking about how to weather the storms and the winter blues and how to stay in your own energy and how to uh, keep yourself aligned into what you want rather than sort of take on all the storms of your local environment. I don't mean the weather storms so much, even though the weather does have a, a massive effect on how we feel in our bodies. I'm talking about the storms that go on in our environment, what we allow to influence us and therefore influence us on a physical level. One of the um, stories that I wanted to share with you today is some news that I heard last week. <laughs> and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to put this um, little chapter together, this little three-day challenge together for us. I've got a new holder for my phone and it's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting. It's different. Ah. All right. Okay. So... Um, how can we stay in our own energy when all around us seem to be dipping into the doom and the gloom and um, wanting to feel wintry, wanting to feel the, the negativity of the, the planet, wanting to feel the, uh, and believe in the, <clears throat> the stories of the recession and the stories of the flu viruses and the story of the, um, the moods the newscasters and all the doom and bloom that spread all around us and how that actually has a massive effect on how we feel ourselves. Um, the story I wanted to tell you today, which prompted me to sort of go into this a little bit more, <laughs> was the fact that a girlfriend of mine who lives in the south of, southwest of France, she moved here before I did, I didn't know her before I arrived, but we worked together and we kept in touch. Anyway, um, a few years ago, she got breast cancer and um, we shared some stories about walking along the Santiago de Compostela and all those kind of things. She has two daughters. Now, the story I want to tell you about her is the fact that I heard last week that she'd actually died. Now, when I contacted her last time and when we got together last time, it was very, very evident to me that she was still repeating a lot of the same stories that she'd uh, repeated to me before the um, the hatred and the anger and the resentment about the relationship she'd had with the father um not the father of her children but the, the 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 second partner so the stories the storms that she had had to tolerate from him the anger that she'd had to tolerate from him and the anger about herself and what she was what she was feeling herself in her body um, that had had a huge effect on her. Now, anybody who knows anything about the body and the metaphysical physical reasons why we have the complaints that we get, um, it's very interesting, the one about cancer. It's like about deep hurts, long, long resentments held in the body and how the body kind of like eats away at you. Now, it's not just things like that that eat away at you. It's the fears, it's the worries, it's the anger, it's the... Um, the stubbornness, it's the humiliation, it's a lot of the other emotions that we hold in our body as well. They, they eat away at us and they make our life very, very heavy, especially if we carry on talking about those same stories over and over and over again. Those are having a physical effect on us. They're changing our body chemistry and they are having a massive physical effect on us. Um, one of the things that I have known and I wanted to talk to you today about as well was the fact that these things have a way of talking to us via our body and weight is one of the first things that the body shows us that the body's not handling very well, that the body's actually carrying more than it should be carrying. So our job, our willingness is to be able to see what we're carrying that we don't need to be carrying anymore. So... For example, um, where are we holding the weight? Is it our hips? Is it our belly? Is it our arms? Is it our, our breasts? Um, it's interesting to see what parts of our body are actually holding on to weight. The second thing that I've noticed is we often get secondary complaints. We often get um, secondary physical symptoms that um, are further kind of 
asking us to sort of grasp what's going on and to take the lead and to clear out and to release a lot of the old stories, the emotions, the thought processes that we've been going on and on and on about for a long time and we haven't been doing anything about. Um, the second thing that often uh, a lot of people don't talk about or link to do with this is your digestion. So, for example, a lot of people that I speak to have heartburn, acid reflux, irritable bowel. Irritable bowel being, for no reason whatsoever, their, their bowels are just explosive. They're either constipated or they've got the runs. They're very, very irritable. And I just find it, now that I know more and more about this, be, being a body whisperer, now I know more about, about this, it's just like, it's so obvious. It's so obvious what you're irritated about. I'll carry on. Anyway, so you've got bloating, you know, what really kind of like bloats you out and just like, oh, pushes from the inside outwards and just has you sort of retaining and having gassy experiences. The gut bacteria are reacting to the stress that's going on in the body and it's, it's creating a chemical reaction. And um, it's just showing you how explosive you feel on the inside but nothing's coming out on the outside, hmm, other than gas. Um, it's really how we're not expressing ourselves and how we're not sort of like living up to what we say we want. This is actually producing a lot of the gas that's actually going on in our body. So stomach pain. Stomach pain can sometimes um, be related to the fact that you feel you've been stabbed or that you've been hit in the stomach. Stomach pain can also just be, you know, to do with an argument that you've had and you're still holding on to it and you're not able to sort of deal with it, how you're not able to digest that particular argument. What have you not said in return? What do you really want to say? What are you swallowing down? That's what's going to cause an awful lot of stomach pain for you. Um, stomach cramps in the same way. It's like you're just so cramped up because you've just, you've trapped, um, You've trapped your words, you've trapped your thoughts, you've just not let those things come out. You've not been able to express yourself. A lot of ladies that I deal with and talk to and support, a lot of it's to do with boundaries, that we really haven't sort of set our own boundaries up and we haven't felt safe to express ourselves because if we express ourselves, the fear of the repercussions are too great. So that's why we swallow down and we think we'll just keep that inside, we'll just deal with that ourselves. But the, the person you're hurting the most is yourself. You know that on a mental level, but um, on an emotional level, you're still holding on to it. And when I do a body scan with somebody, I feel that so intensely in the gut area. Um, and it's been having the guts to be able to say something. And sometimes you need to be able to work through how you're going to say something so that it comes out so that you're actually heard and that you're actually understood and you're able to say what it is that you want to say, that's going to have a huge effect on you on a physical level and the weight that you're carrying. I'm going to be talking to you today about release. Over the next three days, I'm talking about release, how to reset your body and how you can reconnect with your body to understand the physical symptoms of what's going on in your body so that you can really understand um, how everything is affecting you from your thoughts and from all the emotions that you're having. Um, other digestive complaints, just finishing my list, the other digestive complaints, it's not exclusive list by the way, but sort of constipation. Constipation usually comes from that you have one or two thoughts that you just continually, 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 continually have and hold on to and you just haven't been able to let go of those particular thoughts or, or repet repetitive um, statements that you're saying about someone, about something. It's just a, such a solid, <laughs> stubborn thought that you're holding on to. And as you well know, constipation has to do with what you're holding on to. But the funny thing is, the people who have constipation don't see it. They Because they're so used to it, they're so familiar with that feeling they're so familiar with that statement and they're so ground into that statement that um it's very difficult for you to see how that's having a physical effect on you the same for when you have the runs excuse me I'm just gonna have a drink the same for when you have the runs you have a lot of thoughts running through your head <laughs> you're practically overwhelmed 
things are running away with you, things are going too fast. Um, that's why the digestion is so important to understand what's going on in your guts, how your digestion is going to affect you and affect your weight and affect you. It's a physical symptom that's coming from what's going on in your thoughts. The great thing is once you understand what is triggering you and what is um, going to support you in the future, the relief, the being able to let go of all that is immense. The feeling in your body when you can actually have let go of those habitual thoughts and you can you can let go of those habitual thoughts you can let go of the what you're holding on to when you see it and then you can release it it's amazing um for about 12 years now i've done detox retreats and i've helped people do detoxes and detox their bodies on a physical level what i always saw that when people did a detox they um they also experienced um, emotional things that came up. Some people would cry, some people would get angry. Um, and it just shows me what's sort of underlying what's going on there. And the more I did the detox retreats, the more kind of um, experiences I had with people and, <laughs> and how they reacted. Some people were quite venomous. <laughs> some people were just, you know, crying or very quiet or insular. Um, with the physical detox, massive things changed for people. And um, but what I really, really wanted to work on was actually to help people release the emotional side so that they could see and the mental side so that they could see how that was affecting them on a physical level. Um, as we detox and as we release, as we let go, as we clear, which is what a detox is all about, you will also have physical reactions. What I mean by that is. Um, as a detox diva, I'm quite used to talking about um, ablutions. I'm quite used to talking about poo and wee and all that kind of stuff. And I help people understand how the enema kind of gets rid of a lot of what's going in, on in the body and how you can release all that. You can release the pressure and you can release um, the waste buildup, the toxin buildup. How the cells, when you relax and you allow yourself to relax for, for example, just a minimum of three days on a physical level, how in within 72 hours, your body, the cells have allowed themselves to open up because they feel safe. Wow, finally you're relaxing, I can let all this go. And the amount, people say to me, and I know because I, I detox regularly, the amount of waste that people release is incredible when they are open to it. If they're still holding on to things, the waste never goes and they don't lose the weight and they don't have the, the freeing experience that you can have when you do a detox. So I kept people waking up and kind of going, oh my God, I just, I just couldn't stop. I was just on the toilet for hours. I was releasing, I was releasing, I was releasing, letting go. I was like, I haven't taken that much in this week. I haven't eaten anything for three days. How can I still be releasing so much? This is the body, this is the body, how it works. Um, and I, I'm knowing now that when I'm doing an emotional release with somebody, when I'm finding the thing, that the key emotion that they're holding on to, that's affecting them on a physical level, when I'm able to release that emotion or release the, um, the emotional and the mental patterns that are going on, you still have... A physical release this is really funny so more and more often people are saying to me maybe the day after or two days after they get back to me and kind of go eh, really weird I've just had the most amazing poo <laughs> I've just had the most amazing different kind of uh, digestion I've peed so much or I've pooed so much or um, what are the other ones? Hot sweats. I used to get like amazing, like hot sweats for like huge phases of like six weeks at a time. I'd be like, oh my God. You know, these are all ways that the body actually releases physically what's going on em emotionally and mentally. You think it's just kind of like you won't ex experience it that when, when you release something emotionally or mentally, but you do. Your body is holding on to certain emotions physically in your cells and particularly in your di 
digestion area. That's why I'm talking about digestion today. And the whole reason that we're talking about weathering the storm is so that you can stay aligned to your own energy so that um, you know, after these three days, you'll know what's going on in your body. You'll know when you're beginning to feel stressed. You'll know your level of relaxation and stress. And you'll know that when you're stressed, certain things are going off in your body that are having a physical reaction for you. The chemicals will change, the hormones will change, and you'll just kind of go, I don't want to feel like that anymore. <laughs> I, I don't want to feel like that anymore. So that's when you know that you really nearly need to start taking care of your emotions, take, start taking care of your mental thoughts, and that will have a serious effect on your body. Um, when we emotionally detox and when we mentally detox you will have a physical um, download you will you know your digestion will change something that I've noticed for myself and other people that I've done this with who are who have come back to me and kind of said I've had the runs for I couldn't tell you how long it's just the way my body has worked after doing this physical, this mental and emotional detox with you, um, I've been going to the toilet normally. And for me, that's phenomenal because it just shows that the digestion is rela has relaxed and it's absorbing and it's releasing what it should be. Everything sort of goes back to normal. Your digestion relaxes. It's an amazing feeling when you know that that's happened. On another level, when you have emotionally and mentally detox something, when you've gone through that emotion and you've released it, you've let it go, you've gone through the process that I'm going to take you to so you can feel inside your body what you are holding on to, and when you've released it so that next time you come up to that particular situation that would normally have you responding in um, a volatile way or a defensive way or swallowing your emotions or not speaking up for yourself, you'll notice that you're, I don't feel like that anymore. Oh, I, I really don't hold on to that grudge anymore for that person. And what a wonderful feeling that would be if you knew that you weren't holding on to those certain things in your body anymore. Going back to the story of my friend, um, who I've written a blog about this week, um, Rosie, who has died from breast cancer, knowing that the body is holding on to uh, a lot of emotions, especially if you've had bad relationships, bad experiences, you're repeating old stories. Just be aware and do a bit of a journal about some of the things that you're actually hearing yourself repeating and repeating and repeating. Um, one of the things that uh, a couple of years ago I used to get my knickers really in a twist if I felt that I was wasting my time and then I noticed I said it one day and then I was aware of it the next time I said it and then the next time I said it and the next time I said it. every time I put the key in the locker I felt I'd done something that wasted my time I was able to pick up on that but it wasn't until I'd actually heard myself say it and dig a little bit deeper and notice what was going on in my thoughts that I suddenly become became aware of what that felt like in my body I was furious for wasting my time and so my, my reaction was like a volcano god I'm wasting my time but I became very aware of how that affected me on a physical level so when I be able, when I was able to release that release the the pressure of something wasting my time and not feeling that I was in control, I was able to look at it from a different perspective and choose to have more fun with it and choose to have more fun in my day and choose to um, not be so hung up on it. And But that was great. But then when I released the essence of feeling that I was wasting my time, that was one of my mental patterns. When I was able to sort of release that along my my um, timeline along the way that I dealt with things on a daily basis I was like oh god that would normally really have upset me that would normally really have really wound me up and sort of like got me to react in a big way and it's like 
that's just not working anymore. That, and my body was much easier through that particular process. It's very interesting when we allow ourselves to let go and release just to see what's actually happening. So first of all, your digestion eases up. Your constipation becomes more flowing and you become more regular and you just ease up. It just doesn't, it doesn't exist anymore. When you've had the runs, when you've had lots of thoughts running through your mind and you're trying to catch up all the time and do so much, these are the, these are the things and the thoughts and the emotions that cause that particular digestive problem. And um, when, when you've really cleared up the thoughts and the emotions that are causing this digestive complaint, you just, your motions, your physical, physicality, your digestion works so much better. You're digesting what's going on in your environment with so much more ease, so much more fluidity and you're regular and you're probably more organised and you're kinder with yourself. Your digestion changes massively. And when your digestion changes massively, you'll also know that you're digesting things on a much easier basis and that makes your weight change because you're not being so heavy on yourself. Things are not so heavy on you. Um, arguments are not so heavy. Deadlines, money, relationships, children, everything just becomes easier and easier and easier and this is how your digestion is showing you how you're coping with your daily life your daily struggles no matter what age you are today do you want to live the next 50 years the next 30 years going through with the same attitude going through with the same difficulty going through with the same struggle going through with the same mental torturous thoughts, the same emotions that are going to have the same reactions on you physically? Do you want to live the next 30, 40, 50 years with that? Or do you want to live it with ease? I want you now, just for a challenge, I want you now to just be able to close your eyes and go into the kind of life, the kind of woman, the experience that you want to have most of all in the next phase of your life. Who are you? How are you walking through your day? Are you running around like a crazy, you know, headless chicken? Or are you going down to the beach and picking up sticks and, and you know, doing stuff for yourself? Are you finding time for yourself for meditation, for doing some exercise just for the enjoyment of the feeling of your body for doing the exercise? Who are you as that woman? What does she feel like? I want you to just feel inside your body and see what feeling is a predominant feeling that you're after. What feeling do you want to feel most of all? What feeling do you desire most of all? Is it ease? Is it peace? Is it excitement? Is it to feel loved? Is it to feel freedom? What is the feeling that the woman in the next phase of your life wants more than anything else? That's what we're working towards here and that when you release a lot of the emotions, the key emotions, that's what you're getting back to. You're not allowing yourself to be churned up inside and having horrendous digestive and physical symptoms that are going to weigh so heavy on your body. That's why the weight is there. The weight is there telling you how heavy you find life. What you are carrying around with you that you haven't allowed yourself to let go of yet. That's what weight represents. And that's why it's so embarrassing for us to sort of carry weight because we know it's what we're carrying around. We, we think we're doing well, we're taking care of this person, we're taking care of that person, we're doing everything for everybody else, not taking care of ourselves. We're carrying, we're carrying an awful lot. And as women, we do that. And the reason it's in the belly is often because 
that's where the old bag is <laughs> that's what the uterus is and we just keep putting things in there we're just dealing with it dealing with it we'll deal with that later we'll deal with that later one day I'll deal with that one day I'll relax one day I'll calm down when I get all this done then I'll calm down I'm here just to sort of prompt you to poke you to just see if you can't find what's going on for you emotionally what's going on for you mentally that's having a physical effect and influence in your body that's why I'm here that's why I'm talking about what I'm doing and in honor of Rosie and the fact that she had so many problems and she was still carrying those problems around to do with her ex and and the horrible ways that he spoke to her and the horrible things that she had to deal with I'm offering six weeks of intensive one-to-one -one workshops to release the six the five the biggest emotional and mental things that you're carrying around I'm helping you release those I'm here to support you as release those to release those that particular program that I normally do for six weeks is 3,000 euros I'm dropping that down to 1,500 euros because I really want you to experience this if you take me up on that right now within the next 72 hours I will also throw in a bonus session this is a most amazing thing the bonus session which allows you to reset your mental state your energetic state which gets you into the energy so that negativity just flicks off you and you just don't have that anymore we're going to get you so strongly focused and on your way to being that woman in the next phase of your life so that you are not experiencing all the negativity and all the storms and all the winter blues and all the negativity the doom and gloom the sickness and everything else so you're not being influenced by that so that you are aligned that's that bonus session that I'm offering you that you're so aligned to who you are and who you want to be that nothing is going to knock you off your track I talked a few weeks ago about the sort of like these orgasmic energy that you're so immune to life when you're in that orgasmic energy that's my energy that's what I want those are the adventures I want to be having that's the excitement of having the bag by the door and I'm off on an adventure or I'm riding that horse and it's so thrilling and so exciting and so on the edge I could fall off at any time that energy is the energy that I need so that I'm not affected by the doom and the gloom and the sickness and the worries and the um, the strife and the struggle that everyone else is going through because I'm choosing not to be in that because I've released as much as I possibly can emotionally and mentally every now and again I see a new one and I'm going to release that too I've released the main ones that have affected me and affected me physically and my form is releasing it's letting go it's feeling so much lighter this is the way that we do it this is the way that we move forward I'm Fiona Robertson and I am a body whisperer and I am a body renewer I'm taking you from the inside I'm helping you release and lift off massive amounts of emotional garbage that doesn't need to be there anymore massive amounts of mental torture that you're saying to yourself that's having a massive effect on you physically it's physically affecting you it's weighing heavy on you lift that off it's time to lift that off I'm going to put a comment in the um, a link in the comment and a link in the description over with this live broadcast I really really I'm here I'm so excited when I get to support somebody and let them lift off those heavy emotions it's, it makes makes the week and it makes their life so much richer it's a fantastic fantastic experience don't let it go be there be on for yourself and respect your body and respect your soul and lift off all that heavy garbage that you've been carrying around with you it's just not necessary so one thing today how do you want to feel in the next phase of your life what does she feel like in your body I would say in your guts in your stomach in your intestine in the bit between your solar plexus and your navel what does that feel like 
I bet you it feels easy. I bet you it feels liberated. I bet you it feels free. Completely, completely liberated, lifted off, easy. There's no pain in your digestion when you're in this new phase of this woman. She's dealing and she's digesting with life in an extremely easy way. Okay, I'm Fiona Robertson. I'm going to be back again tomorrow showing you how you can reset yourself. Today's been all about release. And tomorrow is all about how to reset yourself on a new level so that you can be this woman in the next phase of your life, walking around in a body that feels alive. Alive, alive, oh. <laughs> alive. That's the main feeling. That's the feeling that just gets you rocking and rolling and really being in a healthy, fit body that's going to see you through the next phase of your life. All right, I'm going to love you and leave you. Don't, don't let this pass up. Release as many of those motions as you can within six weeks. It's a phenomenal journey and you will feel so different. Your digestion will change and you will feel so different on the inside out and you'll start to see great changes on the outside too. All right, I'm going to love you and leave you. Bye-bye now. It's Fiona. See you tomorrow.